Hi guys, today I want to share with you guys one of my favorite noodle recipes which is Thai beef noodle soup. I love this recipe so much because it's so easy to make, the ingredients are quite basic, um, it does take a bit of time to boil but the whole prepping and cooking is so so skajam. This is also a great dish for you to sell if you're considering starting a business from home, nak jual makanan. Um, this is a really, really good dish for you to try. Um, because the cost is very little, okay. Um, for this recipe, I can make about 18 bowls. And for 18 bowls, my cost is only 60 ringgit, actually slightly less than 60 ringgit. That the only mahal thing is the beef. But to boil, I'm using local beef. And to serve, I'm using chilled beef. Um, so yeah, it's not expensive at all. And making it is so much fun. But this kejap saja uh, it's just that you have to boil it for a long time. Lah. But while you're waiting for it to boil, you can do other stuff. Alright, so I'm going to start by introducing the ingredients. Like I said just now, I have beef here. I have local beef. So you can use any part you like, okay? Unless you want to serve it, then you should use batang pinang lah. That's a good part. Um, but I'm just using it for boiling. So I'm using like macam uh, saki baki beef too. Tapi kalau nak serve juga boleh, you just have to boil it for a little longer, like about 4 jam, but normally I just boil it for about one and a half hours macam tu. So apart from the beef, I have my uh, serai, lemongrass, bawang putih yang dititik, akar daun ketumbar, I have halia, banyak juga halia yang dihiris tebal, bawang merah, bawang besar, bawang holland, uh, kulit kayu manis, bunga lawang, star anise, cinnamon, and black peppercorns, okay? And sedikit minyak masak. I have some beef balls here. You can make them from scratch and then I share with you. I have um, fish sauce here. I have light soy sauce here. And dark soy sauce here. And of course, some water. Senang sangat-sangat. So now I'm going to start. I'm going to heat some oil. Gunakan vegetable oil. And bila api dapat minyak dah panas. Once the oil is heated, I am going to masak my onion first. I'm going to char the onion and the ginger. Um, so that I'll get a beautiful colour. So the colour, um, the Thai beef noodle soup dengan um, Vietnamese pho is quite different because Thai beef noodle soup is a bit darker in colour but the ingredients are quite similar um, only pho uses lagi banyak lah guna tulang uh, guna tulang lembu guna bone marrow sum sum tulang and even beef itself but for Thai beef noodle soup ni it's, it's very simple you just guna beef sahaja Okay, minyak ada panas. So now I'm gonna add my bawang. I'm using Holland onion that I belah dua, tapi I belah potong sikit tak sampai habis. This part, okay? Alright, so I'm just gonna add it in. Kita nak minyak betul-betul panas so we can sort of char our onion. Okay. And masuk tambah bawang merah juga. And the ginger. Ginger pun I put some tebal tebal. And I'm using young ginger. Okay, now I'm just going to tebal it then, my onion. So you want it something like that. It can even be darker. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna add in my cinnamon stick. I'm going to start in this. And my peppercorn. Okay, so 
And now, bawang ginawangi, so ito na masurong pasta din. I am going to add in my garlic. So, ito sa kita ni Lulu. I'm gonna add in the garlic. Okay, bawang puti, yan di puti, and my serai. Some recipes pa guna serai, but I like using um, serai, lemongrass, because it gives a beautiful aroma to the broth. So the lemongrass and the garlic, and I just want to touch out everything. Alright, so now we're going to add the garlic tadi. Just put it in between the spices. Okay, can you stir it to the garam? Sikit saja dulu. Not too much. Sebab kita gunakan banyak fish sauce. So, so, a little bit of salt everywhere. On the meat. Make space for the rest of the beef. Kita nak sear the meat supaya kita dapat that nice brown colour juga for our broth. Bau dia so nice. The smell is amazing. And did I say this recipe is sweet for pasaho and buka puasa? Love it so much. Okay. The beef are brown nicely, you can see. The vegetables, the spices, huh? the bottom of the pot pun dah macam ni sekarang ni. Okay, we want it like that. We want it a bit dark. I show you to that. Ah, we want the pot to be macam ni. Okay. And now I akan masukkan some water. Masukkan sikit dulu and just touch out je the bottom of the pot tu supaya all the brown bits semua-semua tu keluar. Uh, you want that, you want the brown bits tadi tu. That's why we pecah our vegetables and we sear our meat. So just put a wooden spoon and just touch out sahaja. A little bit more. Kacau, kacau, kacau. Wow. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Okay, so I am adding 3 liters of water. Um, But bila you rebus di lama-lama, the liquid is going to um, reduce. So you just keep on adding water lah. And you can see there's like all these brown bits here, macam foam. Okay, you want to throw that out. Okay, you want to skim the scum, uh, culinary terms for it. Because you nak, you punya soup um, to be nice and clear and tak berkeladak. So like this, nanti once they're boiling, you just take a spoon and you just cook it out. Right, so now, sambil kita tunggu dia boil, I am going to add my fish sauce okay. my light soy sauce that's why I check out garam kita kena sikit-sikit dulu sebab fish sauce dah masin light soy sauce pun dah masin and then um, thick soy sauce pun sama masin so just masukkan sikit-sikit dah dulu alright so now just tunggu dia mendidih sahaja once the meat is we can pick up all these impurities. Okay, so kita punya soup dah mendidih. So now I nak pelahankan api. And like I said just now, we have to skim the scum 
So I'm just going to use a uh, sudu, I mean sendok. You guys boleh nak guna penapis pun boleh. So just ambil je. Uh, Buih-buih kat atas tu. Okay, we don't want that. Supaya kita punya um, sup jadi jernih. Okay, clear and nice. Just ambil je kat tepi-tepi tu. Macam ni. Kalau you guys tak nak buat pun tak apa. But I prefer lah. And it makes the broth tahan lagi lama juga. When you do this. Okay. So, kita nak biar dia masak pada api sederhana. Supaya daging tu lembut. Um, especially if you guys are serving the beef. So, just masak dia uh, pada api sederhana for about 4 hours, okay? Kalau tak nak serve the beef or nak makan dulu, lepas tu later on baru serve the beef pun boleh. So, just boil it for about an hour and a half supaya kita dapat soup yang betul-betul rasa beef. Uh, strong beef taste. Last sekali, kita masukkan our... Ketumba, akar daun ketumba. So this is gonna add a beautiful flavor to our broth juga. And nanti baru kita rasa bila dah sejam lebih kita rasa uh, perlukan garam ke tak. Um, I think normally I memang tak payah tambahkan garam because dah guna banyak fish sauce dengan kicap-kicap tu semua. So dah memang cukup masin dah. And after that kita boleh serve. Senang je kan? Okay, nanti tunjuk korang macam mana nak serve dia pula. Oh, the punya smell is amazing. Okay, so my broth has been boiling for about an hour and a half. It smells so good. And I've been uh, skimming all the um, scums on the sides. Like every now and then when I see, when I see it, I'll just pick it up with my... Um, with my sendo here. So you kind of just want to do that every few minutes when you see it. This is so your broth will be really nice and clear. And it will last longer. Provided you don't have scan everything. Alright, so now we're going to add our beef balls. Okay, so I posted a recipe recently. I made a green curry meatball um, with Quaker oats. Sedap sangat-sangat the meatball because it's so soft and um, chewy and light. It's just, it's amazing. So, you guys can use the same recipe. Cuma gonna tukar, um, guna beef lah instead of chicken because that recipe uses chicken. But use the same one and you're gonna thank me later. Sedap sangat-sangat. Alright, so now we're just gonna add our meatballs. Meatballs ni dah siap rebus. Okay, so nak ambil lagi skin. Scrum a bit more. Nampak tak? Ha, dia akan keluar dia macam kat tepi ni dia akan naik. So, just ambil je tak apa. Okay, just janganlah buang dia punya sup sayang lah kan. Hmm, pastikan the soup tak ikut sekali Don't take too much of the soup uh, Just ambil dekat surface dia saja, Bagian atas saja. Okay, so now it's time untuk servekan dia Okay, waktu servekan dia Make sure you punya broth is still boiling Okay, so just prep everything And then pastikan boiling Baru kita masukkan broth kat dalam mangkuk So kat sini I ada uh, kuih tiaw untuk kuih tiaw sup, kuih tiaw yang halus tu. You boleh guna kuih tiaw yang kering, kuih tiaw halus yang kering. Like the rice noodle, dry rice noodle. Rebuskan pun boleh. Tapi I guna fresh. And I dah celur dia sekejap. And kat sini kita ada Thai basil. Okay. There's some Thai basil here. Some coriander here. Um, some apa ni, bean sprout, tauge kat sini. Um, some fresh beef, yang ni yang I cakap. Australian chilled beef and I'm using flank and a sikit um, Thai uh, chili flakes Thai chili flakes there kita ada satu lime 
But I'm going to pour this first. Okay. Kita tuangkan. So when you pour the hot broth dekat beef tu, beef ni masak lah. So that's why dia kena mendidih. Oh, look at that guys. Wow, wow, wow. Woohoo! It smells so good. Jangan lupa our meatballs. Uh, there we go. Woohoo! Panas ni. And then, kita okay, tuangkan dulu. And then, taklah lain. Tada! Ha, this is my Thai beef noodle soup. Oh, bau dia memang amazing. You can also, uh, kalau nak serve dengan sambal, fresh chili sambal pun boleh. It's completely up to you. Okay, my child, check out. I hope you guys will try this recipe. It's super duper easy to make. And kalau korang um, terfikir macam nak start business ke, this is the perfect uh, dish for you guys to try and sell because um, it's murah. The cost is not very high. It's quite easy to make and boleh buat banyak-banyak. And maklumlah sekarang ni, it's so easy for you guys to start business from home because there's a few platforms yang uh, lebih menyenangkan untuk kita mengendalikan business seperti Facebook Shop um, dan juga Instagram Shopping tu semua senang je. All you need to do is just uh, puny register and put all the information on your business and you know you can start selling and dah lah you can connect to people easily as well. So it's just the perfect thing to do right now so make sure you try this recipe and when you do share your pictures and videos with me thank you so much jumpa makan guys see ya